Hey, I'm Maggie Gay. So today, I am way out in the Korean countryside and I'm gonna go check out some tea fields. So, to get here, I am staying in Suncheon and then I took the train for an hour to Bosong. And from there, I took a bus, uh, like a local city bus, to where I am now. And I believe the tea fields I'm looking for are right up here. So, let's see if I can find this. All right, so I have made it. I got my ticket and I got a map. And yeah, um, it was 4,000 yen to come in here. And right now it just looks like a forest and there's like a nice little stream there. So the tea fields kind of hit you like real quick. Like you're in the little forest and then bam, green tea fields. And yeah, I'm just going to continue up the stairs on the little map that they have. There is like a little suggested route. So I might as well follow that. I don't know if I took a wrong trail or something because the map I have is in English <laughs> and uh, all of the signs around here are written in Korean so I can't compare the two <laughs> but this is very steep and kind of rocky there is a bench here so I know I can't be too far off <laughs> the view is pretty good from up here though. So while sitting here and taking a little bit of a rest, I noticed you can see the ocean right there. That is ocean. It does say on the map, I don't know if you can see this map, there is an ocean observatory. So from where I was sitting on the bench to the actual ocean observatory, yeah, it was like five steps. <laughs> I'm not sure what those say, but we're definitely not going that way. And that's where I came from. So, yeah. So even though I can't really like compare my map to the little arrow signs around here, um, it seems like it's like a closed circuit kind of deal. So I'm not like too worried about like getting lost or making a wrong turn. Like I'm pretty sure there's like a loop you do and that's it. At least that's what they make it look like on the map. It's just like a big loop. So I think I'm at the far edge of it and slowly working my way back to where the tea fields are because clearly I'm in a forest right now. <laughs> um, and apparently there's supposed to be a waterfall somewhere. 
I don't know where, but we're gonna keep following the path and see where we go. this path I don't know if this is because we had a lot of rain yesterday so there's just extra water everywhere but it's almost like this path is part of the uh, the waterfall I am back at the main area of the tea fields. So basically from the falls you can go down through like the little cedars or you can like cut across back to the like main middle row of the tea. There is apparently a bamboo forest. So I am going to try and find that out. This map's a little confusing, but I think this sign here I think that is telling me the way. This is like little bamboo forest. It's a cute little touch. Um, another place to take photos, not just the tea fields. <laughs> um, but I wonder if it's like naturally there was like, you know, a bamboo uh, grove kind of thing here or is it like all just planted to take advantage of everyone that comes here trying to get those Instagram shots. They actually labeled this as like photo zone. have officially left the uh, tea fields. I've left the gate and I'm just like on the long path back to where the bus is. Online, like on the website, they'll have it listed, like the bus schedule. And it's all written in Korean, but if you learn enough like Hangul to know the names of the places and be able to read that at least, even if you don't understand any of it, like me, um, you can't figure out what time the buses should be coming. Should be is the keyword. I've read online like a lot of the times people struggle with like finding their way out here and everything I read made it seem really complicated but it was actually very straightforward for me. Um, so I don't know why other people had such trouble, such bad luck getting out here. 
I, uh, so far, like getting here was very easy. Let's hope getting back is just as easy. Yeah, I just wanted to point out one thing I wanted to say is that I think that it is best if you want to visit in the morning, come in the morning, because as I was like sitting there eating my little bibimbap and eating my ice cream and just kind of like people watching, um, there was a lot more people. Like in the morning when I got here around 11.30, there was like maybe five to 10 other people in the entire place. And it's a big place. So I don't think that like, even if it's like crowded, you're still gonna have plenty of room to like take your photos and do what you wanna do. But yeah, I noticed afternoon a lot more people come um so probably good to come out here first thing in the morning so i was getting a little like lost where to go for the bus stop useful okay okay so literally across the road from the underpass and this will be the bus stop and yeah so apparently there's five minutes until the next one arrives. I have officially made it back to my hostel in Sunchan. And so getting to and from the tea fields is actually really easy. I showed you the little public bus. So when you leave the tea field, you have to like go under the tunnel and across the road and like you'll see it right when you get out from the tunnel. And that bus, there are times that it's supposed to come, but I wouldn't guarantee on those times. Like, if you want to catch a bus, a specific one, I'd be there ten, like five to ten minutes before because, like, it picked me up three minutes before it was supposed to be there and, like, left right away. Like, they're not going to sit there and wait for the right time. They're going to keep going. The times are more of a suggestion, I guess. Like, it gives you a general air, like idea that's what you have to be like aware of if you know you need to get back to catch a certain bus or train out of Bosong. the public buses to and from the tea fields do not have like signs and there's no like announcements as they pass stops so you kind of just need to be aware of where you are and when you get close to like where you need to be you make sure you like hit the little bell and whatnot like, it didn't take me back to the station or the bus terminal. I kind of just, like, saw as, like, a street over from the train station. So someone else had hit the stop button. And I'm like, I'm just going to pop off here. Be aware of where you are because, yeah, there's no, like, announcements telling you what stop is next or, like, um, like a sign or anything. So don't fall asleep on those buses essentially i mean it's 20 minutes you can stay awake for that long but yeah be aware of where you are the train was actually super nice so i took a regular i forget what they called it i'll put it i'll put it right here what they call the train that i took on the way there on the way back i took something called the s train which is like designed for tourists and they made the inside look real cute um so yeah, there's that. And that train will actually go all the way to Busan. And I think there's one in the morning and then this one in the afternoon to and from Busan. So um, yeah, you I guess you could do it as a day trip from Busan, but it'll be like double the time. Like it, it would be a long day. So I do recommend not doing it as a day trip from Busan. I was looking at doing that and I was like, nah, not gonna do it. Um, but technically you could. So anyways, um, the other thing I want to say, like, if you do take the train to and from Bosong, you got to be careful because there aren't a lot of trains. So I think the one before was at like three o'clock and I took the five o'clock train. And I think the next one after is like at eight o'clock and that's like the last train. So like, you just need to be aware that they're not super frequent. Um, but they do have trains and they're very comfortable, very clean. And yeah, that S train was super cute. So I do think it's a good way. Um, I know the buses are more frequent and I don't know how those are like. But yeah, I really enjoyed my little day trip out into the tea fields. 
I do know that there were other ones, or like other tea fields around, but I didn't go to them. I'm quite content at the one I went to. Oh, one more thing. I know I'm like, <laughs> I was gonna end this. One more thing. Um, when you get off the bus, when you first arrive there, the sign isn't super clear because it labels it as like a cinema and drama film set. So apparently dramas were filmed there. None of the dramas I've seen, like I don't watch a lot of Korean dramas, but I've seen a couple and like they definitely weren't filmed there. But um, yeah, I guess that's another reason why this particular tea field is so popular and so famous. Oh my God. I, I was oblivious to that factor. <laughs> but um, yeah, really enjoyed it there. I am content with the one tea field I went to. So yeah, excellent little day trip if you're in Southern South Korea. And I'm actually gonna end this video now. <laughs> I ramble. Mm. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.